YouTube, what the crap's going on? Heir of Carthage here, and we are back in the Seleucid campaign. Um, I'm, I've am i been tinkering, by the way, with some sound on my microphone. It may be a little different from video to video. I got a new headset from Logitech. When I downloaded it, Logitech apparently bought blue microphones. I use a Yeti mic, and they basically took over my mic and changed all the settings, and so I had to uninstall their software, and I swear the sound has never been quite the same since. So I've been messing with it, trying to get it um, back into a balance. So if you hear it just a little bit off, bear with me. I'm going to keep working on like doing some settings because I swear it's just it's not been the same since Logitech got a hold of it, um, which is always a good look when you buy a brand and then make it perform worse whenever someone installs software <laughs> unknowingly. Uh, but hey, I got some exciting news here for you all. So we, we started the, the campaign and I got some help from on my Discord from Sergeant Meme Swaraj. And um, he took my campaign save file and oh modded a couple of things. One, he made it to where our general Hannibal actually looks like Hannibal, and his name is Hannibal. So he went in and modded it, and he even gave him the trait despises treacherous Romans. So how perfect is that? So appreciate Sergeant Meme for taking our little imaginary thing and kind of making it real for us here in the game. So. Um, if you haven't seen the last episode, make sure you get out and watch it because it is really good. I um, hope you enjoyed it. We had a good good battle, so make sure you've seen it. All of these will be in a playlist so that you can find them easily. All right, so Hannibal's replenishing. Um, we've got a little bit of cash coming in again. I'm trying to get my uh, my army back to Antioch. Uh, Sardes, which is one of my satrapies, helped defeat um, the rest of the, the troops from Cyprus here, the Cypriots. And um, I'm headed down to Egypt to try and squelch the uh, would-be um, would successors. And we're going to show them who the real successors are. So Hannibal already fulfilling um, what his boss needs him to. We have an unassigned skill and tradition. Let's go take care of those real quick. So as far as the tradition goes, uh, I'm going to start off with siege experts. Again, I kind of find this handy to be able to take care of that early. And um, I want to work on strategist with Hannibal, so I'm going to do that. Um, and, I, and I may have already put this on him, and it may have just redone this as a result of, you know, making the switches here. But uh, we've got it all set up. We even have roughly the appropriate age that Hannibal was when all this began, too. So pretty exciting. Really appreciate the work that, um, that Sergeant Meme did for me. So let us go ahead, and I appreciate you all having pointed me um, to the mods that are helping with this as well. The uh, guaranteed major faction empires is hopefully going to make the Romans a uh, real force to be reckoned with. Ooh, we've got a pretty major invasion going on here. Rebellion in Edessa. Where were these losers that came in? So they're going after... This is the Parthians. Or uh, Persia. Yeah, it's Persia, probably working with the Parthians, and they may be going after my satrapies. Not much I can do about that. I'm a little bit far behind the lines, but, I mean, there are other armies back here for my satrapies. Hopefully, they will respond in kind. I get back into the settlement, and I'm going to take my army. And I'm going to move to Edessa and defend Edessa. I'm in a forced march, but we can get all the way back and defend Edessa from these rebels. So that will work out quite nicely. Arsus looks like things are turning around. Again, we don't have a lot of cash, but we've got a little cash. I'm working on expanding Jerusalem. Let's go ahead and do that here. The consecrated ground. We got those trade agreements opened up, which should help us uh, a bit too. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put in a military wharf. I don't need to recruit at the moment, but I'd like to be able to when I'm ready. So there we go. Got some more buildings on the way. In Hannibal's Revenge, uh, doing a bit of replenishment at the moment. I don't think we have access to much from a recruiting standpoint. There is some uh, Persian cavalry we pick up from a mercenary standpoint, and that would be pretty helpful to have a heavy shock cavalry. Go ahead and hire them. Honestly, those archers are tempting, too. Oof, that costs so much upkeep, though, so let's not... May not even keep this Persian cavalry for long. That is just a substantial amount of upkeep. 
So the Kidri want a non-aggression pact. I think that sounds good. I don't want to fight them right now. I have other wars to deal with. We have martial ambition, which will increase our military research rate. And that is what we're working on at the moment, so I'll do that. Antiochus II comes of age. And the Egyptians have some forces building near Alexandria. I don't think it's anything we can't handle. Our hillmen are just replenishing quite slow here, unfortunately. I don't want to sit on my butt for too long, so we're just going to have to make do, I think, with what we got. So I'm going to move up closer to our borders here. Let's again, take the cash that we've been given. And let's throw some more homesteads out here. We've got Tarsus and Salamis. Sacred Grove. Let's get some. Let's get a public forum here as well. Or actually, let's just grab some industry. There we go. Help us get a little bit of cash. Make up for that which we are spending. Let's see the rebels. Had to, well, the rebels have royal peltist. Is that what I saw? That's uh, quite fortuitous for them. Be picking up um, elite units while just being paltry. Country rebels. Edessa. Oh no, it's just Peltist. Okay. I thought it was a royal Peltist there for a minute, so I got the unit card wrong. Um, so citizen cavalry, militia hoplites. Uh, they do have a general, which is going to be a little bit tougher, but we've, we've got these guys. Let's take them out. I forgot how bad the battle AI is in this game, too. It's it's very bad. Like that, that battle we had the last game against Ptolemy II. Um... Yeah, the AI performance there was, was laughably bad. And so as much as I complain about the way the AI still performs terribly sometimes in Warhammer, it is clearly a massive improvement of where we're at. And to be frank, um, if you take Rome 2 compared to, say, like, even Empire Total War, <laughs> it was still an improvement, uh, just to give you an idea of how bad Empire Total War was in terms of the way the AI behaved and performed. Now, occasionally I've seen the AI do okay-ish, on this game, but sometimes they just they get locked in a repositioning cycle and never reposition, and so then they just end up getting absolutely destroyed. Alright, it's double elephants in this army, so I don't think any people are going to survive. I'm gonna walk forward so they won't, won't get tired, so I'll fast forward. Uh, someone also mentioned that we should turn on the battle timer. That's probably a good idea because sometimes the AI literally bugs out in this game on a siege and will stop or like not get off their ships. So I, I will try and remember to turn the battle timer on when we get back out to the um, map screen again. Some militia hoplites. Just hoplites. So this is not an elite hoplite unit like we would have gotten from a real bodyguard. Uh, what do you call it? Shield bearers or something like that. It would have been a much tougher unit. I believe we're going to have plenty of ranged advantage. Alright, so we're moving up on our enemies. They've got some skirmisher cavalry. I was about to say Tarantine cavalry. You can tell I'm used to playing as Carthage. Tarantine cavalry shows up considerably more often. Right, everybody run to position. Let's keep our elephants uh, well out of range of that skirmisher cavalry. Our hidden units have been discovered. Quick march! Put your pikes down, dummies. Oh, we got charged by a citizen cavalry, but I'm not overly concerned about it. Stay Guard up. mode here. Ooh, that citizen cavalry is going to get absolutely owned. We are at your command. That skirmisher cavalry is going to hurt me pretty bad over here. But I can't exactly chase it with the stuff I have. And we're going to take a bit of a savaging here from having to sit still. I'm going to take the... Take my light cavalry and try and punch a hole this direction. I'm going to bracket these horsemen off with my spears. Just one unit of them. Send another spear to run this way. Yeah, see, I'm going to bracket these guys out. Yeah, that's alright. That hillman will be alright. 
I mean, they may not be alright, but I told them they'll be alright. Let's get out of there. Alright, so our little scheme over here is working. I want to busy that hoplite unit with my eastern spears. Alright. I'm gonna bring my elephants to bear in this battle. Those uh, eastern spearmen are getting chewed up in a big hurry. Alright, I think that general just went... Yeah, he just went into a hoplite formation, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn around. The elephants should cause the rout there. I gotta be careful because my own javelins are flying in that direction. And I'm gonna pincer the enemy hoplites between two units of elephants. I'm gonna have one charge them from behind because they're just sitting in a shield wall. So, here comes Antiochus, a beautiful rear charge. And then we're gonna finish the uh, envelopment with our other elephant unit. And the Odessan rebels gonna be put to the hoof here and destroyed by my uh, my elephants. Yes, he is. He's not having a good day of it, folks. He is definitely elephant bait. Okay, so there we go. I'm going to uh, take the cash off these rebels, because I want all the monies right now. Auto resolve. They all look about the same, so we'll just go on the aggressive one. Excellent. So rebels defeated. A little bit of extra spending money. Nothing too too great, but you know, like I said, we'll we'll take anything we can get at this point. There's a few hundred denarii, so it is better than nothing. Hannibal is awaiting entrance to Egypt. Just about half wonder if I shouldn't go ahead and put some. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a slinger and a spearman, like a couple, just to bolster up my numbers here. We need to take care of a couple things here. We can give my tradition. Let's do siege experts, and then for Antiochus, um, let's do commander. Like, you know, he's a king. He should be inspiring um, to the troops on the battlefield. So let's let's have a little fun with that one. Then our spy do here. Do an army sabotage. It's, uh, can't apparently. I don't know why we can't, but we can't. Running based approach. I don't know what, why we can't do any of this stuff, but we just can't. I, I mean, it looks like I have enough. Oh no, no, I don't have the money. I thought I had that much. My bad. I didn't have the money. Uh, let's go take care of the skill point. That is bow. Oh, got to do that while I was up here. Alright, so for Antiochus, he's got another skill point. We can't pour it into Commander just yet, so let's do General, which is going to lower his recruitment cost, give him more authority. We mess with both these. Eight morale for all units. Uh, this one also gives extra morale for all units, so pretty neat stuff. You know, they'd be inspired by their king. That makes a lot of sense. And right, here we go. Hannibal about to enter the Nile Delta. On behalf of the Seleucid Empire. We finished the siege tower research. Heralds of Thanos has des er, Thantos, not Thanos. <laughs> Ready for orders. Oh boy. I don't even listen to Marvel movies either, so I'm not really sure where that came from, but I guess it just comes off the tongue because that's all we hear about is Marvel movies. So, no big surprise, I guess. 
let's get some extra wealth. Three of our glassware trade. And Jerusalem. I'm gonna wait till I can build the building I want there. Alright, we've gotten replenished pretty good, and we've pulled in some extra eastern spears. So I'm gonna push forward. This time I should have enough um, what do you wish money to do a little bit of army sabotage I here. Alright, so we did succeed in it sabotaging their army. It didn't do much, but, you know, gives us something to do with our agent. I am Nix. So we got Thief, which adds cunning. Steal enemy agents gold and ancillary, as well as reducing their chance of success. Wow. That's kind of cool. Send for the local farmer soldiers that need to be fed. Unit replenishment. Uh, zeal. Plus one zeal. Plus one food stolen while deployed in enemy problems. Uh, zeal base. That's kind of cool. I kind of like this thing, though. Can, like, get some money while robbing the, our enemies. And I mean, that sounds like a plan to me. Alright, so we've gotten the siege reduction, and it reduces attrition. Um, so I, I don't think I'm going to do any more focus there. Would like to get the hoplite barracks unlocked, but let's just kind of check. Um, let's start off some of our research on this side of the uh, the fence with the civil. And Hannibal is having to wait. I think I want to stay in Edessa for the time being, and we already. Yeah, we're gonna stay there. We're diseased anyway, so we might as well. Don't have any more cash to spend right now, so let's end our turn and see what. Our enemies and others do here. Who is this? Is that Nabatea? Alright, these are gonna be people warring with my. Wow, Rhodes attacked Media this time. So Rhodes just can't get off our case. Use of mercenaries. So we need mercenary contracts. Eh, let's not worry about it. Just carry on. It's the Kush. Let's check out what the Kush are up to. Get into diplomacy. They may be at war with Egypt. Man, Egypt's got a lot of wars. And Kush is one of them, so we can't allow the Kush to beat us to the punch here. Commander. So we're gonna have to go lay siege to Alexandria now. Um, Egyptians are quickly um, training up more units, but I feel confident that we can stay ahead of them. We'll try and siege them out even. I'll get some towers ready, in case we have to get in. So let's go ahead and continue the siege. And our attrition should be considerably lower because of the research we've done. So let's see what we've got next here. Check out how my um, guys are doing. So there's this Persian army kind of rampaging around. These guys are headed in. These guys have a big army here. Media does. Looks like they've lost some territory here. So my satrap, he's taken a little bit of a beating, which we may have to go clean up later on. Rhodes declared war over here, but I mean... That means Sardes is at war with them again, I believe. That won't that won't bode well for them. <laughs> like, not at all. I might take Antiochus while I have the opportunity. And go ahead and uh, force march. Like, he's sick anyway, so I'm going to force march him through the desert. Let's see if we can go retake some of this territory and stop this war behind us. I'm supposed to be focusing west. And indeed, I am working on that with Hannibal. But uh, at the same time, like, I can't let myself get overrun uh, by enemies from the east as well. Let's get Tyros, Jerusalem. Let's improve Sacred Grove here at Jerusalem. Let's see what these do. So this one basically helps with army replenishment and gives you... Decent-ish wealth. 
mean, I doubt we're going to be fighting a lot of battles there. Oh. I think I'm inclined to just put in some cattle ranching. Let's go ahead and build our Holosoteros, uh, Holosideros barracks. In case we want to do better recruiting later. And let's go ahead and end and see if the Egyptians attack us. They very well might because that power bar was stacked so heavily against me. Yeah, and they're going to bring in an army behind me. Okay, so Egypt's going to bring the attack. But their armies aren't good. <laughs> they're just not good. We've got Egyptian pikemen. I've got a major skirmish advantage. And I'm feeling fairly confident that we've got this one in the bag, so... Let's fight this. Now, one army they had came in behind me. Actually, that's going to be the one that faces in front of me. Egyptians will have ships coming to land here as well. So we'll keep an eye on those. There should just be an elephant general in front of me. I kind of feel like the other enemy reinforcements should be coming from behind me. So I could be wrong. But I feel like they should be coming from behind me based on how the positioning was. Now, I don't remember how often this game gets this kind of thing right. You know? Like, are, are they... Are they able to... What are your orders? Is the AI able to deploy the right way? Or is this like Warhammer where they attack you from one direction and then they show up in different places on the battlefield where they shouldn't have showed up? I have no idea. I'm going to turn around just in case there is an army coming in behind us. The elephants, if they come up behind us, I'll just pepper them with all my skirmishers. Enemy reinforcements approaching. So they have the reinforcements from C. Alright, well, I don't see anything immediately behind us. Which means that CA please. There's just nothing coming on over here. Yeah, it must be coming from the other direction then. Alright, well, I checked, just in case. Alright, we're gonna do a little odd crossing maneuver here. It's gonna take my guys forever to reposition. Wouldn't recommend this under normal circumstances, because this is gonna make your army pretty vulnerable for a while. Yeah, those ships are gonna come in. I would imagine there should be other... Yeah, there they are. Actually coming in way from behind. I kind of want to come down here on this open ground, to be honest. I'm going to fast forward again. As their reinforcements are a long way off, I can just kill all these... Um, these marines, basically, that... Egypt is bringing in. Yeah, they got javelin men and Nubian spears. Coming in via ship. Go ahead and run this way and try and mow these guys down with overwhelming firepower while they're getting off their boats. It's going to take that infantry a very long time to get here. Move up further. Our grouping is nice because you can move your units um, in formation, but it's also really screwy. I gotta get these units' attention. I'm gonna go ahead and reposition my pikes, because I don't like this position. Okay, that got their attention. Our hidden units have been discovered. Let's fall back with their slingers a bit. All right, so we've got the attention. Egyptian units. My pikes are pretty tired from all the running. They're going to need to rest before we get into a proper combat, but I think we have time. Slingers are going to get back. General's going to get back. Like I said, all my troops are going to be just a little tired. So I'd like to rest if possible. Okay. 
right, we've got our pikes down up front. Pikes at the ready. Pike for legs. They used a rapid advance ability that's not going to do well for them. I'm going to wreck these javelin men. Put them to a route rather quickly. But some of my troops begin resting. Right, here comes the enemy army at me now. See how well the AI is capable of positioning themselves this time. My Eastern Slingers are doing a number on these Javelins, though the Javelin's gonna get a few kills on me. But once we defeat all these troops, and I am confident we will, we can pretty much just march into Alexandria. The R's for the taking. Light cavalry coming at us on this flank. And that is going to be the end of the javelin men. Oh, fire at will. Got Egyptian archers. Look at my slinger, slingers up front. A little bit of bait and then also a little bit of uh, cover for my phalanx. I don't want these archers to be able to come in range of my phalanx. They are 150 range to my 150. It's a couple of units of archers. I want those dead because I think archers will do pretty decently against my pikes. Okay, mercenary Egyptian archers. I'm going to make a quick charge on these light cavalry and support with infantry. We have discovered the enemy's hidden units. Those archers are gonna cop it hard right here. Yep, these guys are just trying to get past me. They're not gonna make it. They're gonna be caught trapped. First unit of archers is utterly destroyed. Go for this next unit. Oh my gosh, they just straight up outflanked me right here. Our general is under attack. Yes, he is. Let's go support him. I think my general should be fine though, that's just light cavalry. I don't think they have a very potent anti-large capability. See how much longer the slingers lost or last in a fight like this just, just because of their small shields? It makes a huge difference. Finish these guys. Alright, so we're about to get rid of these Egyptian archers. Alright, we got their light cavalry back here. Some of my pikes are still tired because they were in a phalanx formation the entire time. We have discovered the enemy back just a bit. Alright, so their light cavalry has reformed. I need to go do some support over here. got here Nubian spears I need to get that Egyptian infantry fix we have discovered the enemy's hidden units trying to get to my slingers I'm gonna see if I can crush this Egyptian pike with a rear charge I just don't know if my infantry is gonna hold on long enough to help me get the job done we have discovered the enemy oh nope, I didn't get a good charge either so I need to get out of there immediately Charge. Quick charge into that Egyptian infantry. It ought to really shake them up. Oh yeah, they got hammered on that charge. I don't know how these light cavalrymen are still alive. Alright, our pikes are holding the line. And we need to make something of it here. Our heavy cavalry just got us a break back here on these Egyptian infantry. I'm going to push onward with them. Make sure we're pushed forward. Alright, elephants, let's come over here into these Nubian spears. Let's stay away from those pike units. Let's see if we can bust through this flank. And then let's take our slingers and um, let's go ahead and put some fire on the Egyptian slingers. This is a shameful display. So we need, we need the right spot for a rear charge. These Egyptian infantry are looking pretty juicy. 
This fight over here is gonna sour against me, but if I can make some make some headway elsewhere, it should be worth it. That Egyptian infantry should break. On the rear charge. My elephants ought to be doing better than this over here, too. Oh gosh. Enemy elephants inbound. Oh, we've got problems, folks. We made some problems for the Egyptians, but we got problems. Their elephants are getting... Alright, we berserk their elephants. Now I'm gonna try and put their elephants down. My Persian cavalry is on an absolute killing spree. The enemy general is dead. I'm gonna fold this flank back and try and hold up. This mean it's back, right? The enemy general just died. My own Indian elephants did a little bit of damage on those Nubian spears, not near as fast as I would like. Let's see if we can pepper this Egyptian pike unit right here that's about to break through us. Right, I'm gonna bring my elephants back into the back of this mess. I'm gonna throw some extra infantry in here to just kind of help fix them up a little better. I can't tell if their pikes are facing my direction. Now I'm taking shots from these Slingers, it's really bad. I'm gonna get my heavy cavalry over there to try and silence it. Alright, I got a really nice elephant charge there with Hannibal. Or, uh, yeah, with Hannibal. But we, we're taking sling fire. It's a bit dangerous. We need to make a break in here, and I just don't have the infantry to help me do it. Let's get out of that fight for a minute. Get out of there, Hannibal. All right, let's get Hannibal out while he can still get out. Let's finish cleaning up. So, due to all kinds of bad positioning and other factors, things not exactly the way I want them to be at the moment. But I do have some heavy cavalry units left. I have some skirmishing uh, ammunition left. My levy pikes got wrapped up, unfortunately hit these guys. I've got limited ammunition left. i got to make it count. There's some great targets right here. I can just get rid of this spear unit that only has five men left and should have already routed. Let's bring our shock cavalry to bear. Alright, yeah. See, here I'm just trying to get as many kills as I can with what's left of my sling ammunition. And those kills are against pikemen, so it's very much worth it for me. Hellenic Royal Guard is also a bit of a problem. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Right, so that's not good. I'm running out of ammunition. But if I can kind of pick units off and pincer them, be in good shape. All right, let's flee back a little. Let's drag this battle out a little farther. And I think we can still snatch a victory from the Jaws of Defeat here. I mismanaged my pike line quite a lot. Or it just got overwhelmed. I don't really know exactly which one. The more we make this enemy infantry run and split up, probably the better chances we have. We do have to be very careful of the pikes. They're elephants. Wish I had second wind. Ready to I wonder if we can crush that Hellenic Royal Guard. Golly, it would be a fantastic target of opportunity. We are at your command. I'm gonna try and single out this Hellenic Royal Guard. Like, bring a cavalry charge from behind to fix its attention. And then just crush it with my elephants. On a secondary charge. Keep falling back over here. Alright, so see, I've got the Hellenic Royal Guard's attention over here. I'm gonna try and put a crushing rear charge into him here. Because they're focused on my elephants, and, and quite frankly, they should be. Our orders 
I got a, I don't know, that's still the rear. My cavalry did charge him in the rear, and they didn't even turn to face my cavalry. I'm just gonna have to get out of there. All right, let's leave the Hellenic Royal Guard alone for a minute. One of our it's units it's not gonna break as easy as I would like. Uh, and I have to be very delicate with it in terms of not killing Hannibal. Oh yeah, this is good. Let's take this infantry over here. All right, so I'm gonna fall back a little. This Egyptian infantry should be vulnerable now. And I think we can quick route it. Hellenic Royal Guard did take a considerable amount of damage there. It took almost 25% casualties from that Persian cavalry. Our Persian cavalry is on fire. It has 667 kills. I mean, it has been absolute clutch. Like beast mode clutch. Oh, this is a pike unit. It's even better. Okay. I'm gonna try bring my cavalry over here. I just need to fix this enemy pike unit with my own. Actually, they're so far out. Let's just ignore them for a minute. Kind of feel like if we can lob up our infantry on these few here, and then just crush them from behind. This has got to work the right way, though. Like, I can't engage the Hellenic Guard too early. It's gonna take a lot of maneuvering. Alright. It'll be worth it, though. It'll be worth it. Let's swing around. Push up the flanks of this Hellenic Royal Guard again. We just gotta fix their attention. My lord. We can keep their attention. We can crush them. I'm going to One use, of our units has used all its ammunition. the extremely slow in nature hikes to our advantage. charge these guys, because again, we've got to fix their attention. Get them to turn their backs to us. And then we come in for the killing blow. Alright, the Hellenic Royal Guard's dead. There's no way they're going to survive that. Elephants are all over them. Oh, careful! I'm going to kill my own. Armored elephants have also a lot of kills here. I said the Hellenic Royal Guard would be dead. Somehow they're not. Despite taking absolutely massive casualties, they just crushed the slingers I threw into them. Which, I'm not surprised that they crushed slingers, but I am surprised how long they've survived this brutal charge. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Another brutal charge into the uh, Royal Guard, but we've got pikes after us, so let's let's get out of here. This is getting too risky. Hellenic Royal Guard took an absolute shellacking. They are Royal Guard, and they lived up to their name in terms of the morale they showed right there. I need to bring my pike to engage these units. I've got to continue to move her behind him. Then there's just one more Egyptian pikeman after that. I've had some units route. Okay, this may seem a little annoying to you all, but this is just how we're going to win. I've got to get that Hellenic Royal Guard. Yep, full attention. Uh, this slinger still had ammo. There's the charge from all sides. There's the route. And it's contagious. And there we go. So Hannibal pulls off another striking victory against the Egyptians despite initial setbacks in his army. And does so due to cavalry advantage. 
kind of like he did against the Romans, except probably not this cheesy in real life. Picked up over 600 kills with my Persian cavalry and my elephants. And left the enemy army in utter tatters. That's a good cash off of it, too. Alright, so Alexandria got absolutely wasted there. Now, if there are other Egyptian armies nearby, we could be in some Do pretty big trouble. An to my words at the bottom of a wine cup, friend. What do he wants? I don't feel like giving you military access right now, but I guess it's nice of you to ask. It is a Rhodes again is just paying me money for a peace treaty right after having declared war, so I appreciate the Rhodians contributions to my, my war effort. I'm going to be recruiting much of anything over the next four turns, so I don't know. Right. For the gods! Still very much bent against us in terms of our chances. But these guys can't hold out. Uh, see, they already got a new general. That's part of what's going to be running these stats against us. It's... Try and wait them out. So we're going to wait them out. They don't have many more sieges. Or, sorry, many more supplies, so I'm going to wait them out. And if they come fight me again, I'll have my ammo back with my slingers. And I'll make them pay a pretty dear price for coming to fight me. Alright, I'm finally replenishing now. have enemies here. Take Antiochus back here and again see if we can clean this up. While Hannibal continues to focus westward. Finished our research. Wealth from agriculture. Cultural conversion. Library. Recruitment of dignitaries. Tax rate. Public order for all provinces and lowers corruption. I think that's pretty handy, to be fair. Let's do a little work on that, because I don't need anything military-wise for the next few turns. It's like Hannibal picks up some skill points. I can't add it to further on the strategist yet, but we got tactician and Navigator, so we're going to focus on Tactician for now. And we've got some money to spend. Let's go put it to use. Alright, so a Tarsus. Ooh, a Jeweler. I'm going to go ahead and improve to a polis here first, and let's put a harbor in. Where's our harbor at Tarsus? I don't even see a harbor. Apparently we got one. No, no, that was at Salamis. I was like, huh? What? All right. I was confused. Go will ignore air. He's just crazy at the moment. I got a ton of food, so I'm going to get this extra wealth from commerce. Tempted to get that jeweler, but I just I'm not sure if I want the extra squalor right now. We need to improve this sacred grove here. We're still struggling with public order. At Odessa, I think we can settle it out though. Alright, we're making better money. We like I said, at least for the moment, we have some military victories. This is gonna force either a fight or a surrender, I think, from the Egyptians. They're going to fight. It looks rough for me, and unfortunately for me, two of my slinger units are damaged up pretty good. But my slingers are going to be really key here at picking apart most of the newer units, and then we've got to keep our general well away from these royal peltists while they have ammunition still. This is definitely a winnable fight, despite the rather rugged condition that my troops are in at the moment. We just have to use our ammunition wisely. I don't see mobility. For the enemy, and I have shot cavalry, whereas they do not. My Persians are definitely looking for another good dose of blood. This map is not ill for me. And our phalanx is looking shrimpy. All right. Our infantry corps is measly and pathetic. Our cavalry support will still be okay. Ready. At the ready. 
Alright. Okay, what I want to negate any height advantage that the enemy gets here. Enemy reinforcements approach. And that didn't look like this last time. I guess partly because they attacked me from C, so we fought a little further down here. But I hate that it gave the AI like such an obvious height advantage to start this. So I'm gonna kind of turn that a little here by repositioning. Alright, those pikes are going to be a priority target, and again, we just have to stay clear of the Royal Peltist with my general. We can engage the Royal Peltist with literally anything besides our elephants first. Should put us in good shape. I think the rest of their troops are probably moving through the light woods there. Alright, slingers, mow them down. already dropping their units. There's another pike unit here that's going to need some work. Several pike units that we're going to have to work on. Getting some weird lag right now. Thank goodness the game didn't crash because it sure felt like it was. Discovered the enemy's hidden units. I don't remember them having this many troops in healthy condition. Where the royal peltist is at, either. I'm gonna have to thicken up my ranks quite a bit here. Hey! Leopard warriors, huh? Pikes down. The leopard warriors are just charging at me. I cannot remember if they have. Let's fix them with some of our own infantry. We can't afford to get them tangled up here. Alright, slingers, you guys wipe them out. I don't know where the royal peltist is at. It's back there. They have more troops than it looks like they should have here, based on what I saw on the load-in screen. I'm not really certain what's going on here. That Leopard Warrior Phalanx unit? Sure looks like it. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Our general is under attack! Yeah, I see that. Just trying to keep our general close by here. I can't do anything foolish with him. Leopard warriors just broke. Elephants! The rest of these units up here are getting close to cracking too. These guys are gonna take tremendous slinger fire from behind. Oh crap. Royal Peltist inbound. Royal Peltist inbound. Charge the pikes. Alright, so we gotta keep our distance from them peltists. That Egyptian pikeman is gonna rout. I'm gonna continue to just hammer that Egyptian pikeman from the flank here, and I'm not gonna I'm I mean I'm gonna let the enemy kinda chew on my units for a minute. That Egyptian pike is about to rout. And it's because I need time for my slingers to do their work. And I need the enemy royal peltist to throw all their javelins on an unimportant target. That's exactly what they're doing right now. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Okay, general and heavy cavalry fall back. Yep, the royal peltist are discharging all their ammunition. So, unfortunately for my pikemen, they are a worthy sacrifice, and Hannibal thanks them for their dedication to Bale and giving up their lives so that we can achieve victory today. Egyptian pikemen are about to give up the ghost here too. Beat it to him, men. Make them rout. They just got an inspire that's gonna keep them fighting. That's really irritating. Yeah, 
That Royal Peltist, I think, has spent all its ammunition. These units are now pathetic and won't really even be able to fight me. These pikemen are dropping in a big hurry here. Then we'll spend what ammunition we have left to significantly weaken the Royal Peltist. Another pike unit coming at us here. Let's fall back a little. Shoot those pikes. And we should be able to crush this pike unit, hopefully. Alright, Slingers, you do your job. Dropped a couple more pikes. Let's move this way. I don't want to get caught up with this royal peltist. Not yet. I need to. I need to chip away at him a little first. How is this pike unit like? It's totally surrounded. Come on now, CA please. A little CA please. Got their shields away from my slingers at the moment. Basically, just gonna deny these royal peltists what they want and pepper them with my slingers until it chips away at their hit points, leaves them vulnerable. Got infantry reinforcements ready now. All right, come on, fall back, fall back, fall back. Run, run, run. Killed 13 royal peltists. I'm gonna start charging at them with my cavalry to force them to. Yep, see, that gets them to turn their back to the slingers, and then they just get peppered again. Just a little cat and mouse game here. And they take another hail of sling fire, give another charge order, and fall back. Let's get lined up on these pikes. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and give these guys a charge real quick, because they are totally not braced for this. Yeah, they are going to get absolutely shellacked. And indeed they did. We lost a guy on top of our elephants. We didn't lose an elephant, fortunately. Alright, so it's another victory for Hannibal. Skin of the teeth type victory. We'll take it. His Indian armored elephants are proving quite the gift from Antiochus. And the Ptolemies suffer a third embarrassing defeat. At the hands of the former Punic commander. Now a Seleucid commander. Alright, so we're gonna I'm gonna actually kill the captives. That way they don't get away with any. Really? Where'd these guys come from? <laughs> Literally out of nowhere. Well, nothing I can do about this. Maybe if I would have had my garrison mod that gives us slightly better garrisons, but Jerusalem wasn't a very significant settlement for me anyway. In terms of, like, a military holding. That's frustrating. There is good the road wants the trade agreement. Alright, whatever. I thought we had one earlier. Probably did, they just keep declaring war. Uh, Alright, we've captured Alexandria, we're gonna occupy it. At your command. Let's give me some much needed replenishment. Cyrenaica had an army here too. And Memphis is already under the control of Kush. Is that extinct? Action encountered. Action encountered. Did Egypt get destroyed? They have any settlements? I'm not sure they have any settlements left. Well, as far as recruitment goes, I can replace my levy pikes. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, merge what units I have left so that they'll replenish quicker. And then we'll just start recruiting because this will be quicker. <laughs> I'd like better pikes, but you no. Know. Life gives you lemons. I don't want this skirmisher anymore. I don't really think it's necessary. 
Whoops. Four, four slingers ought to be good. I may take on more. That Persian heavy cavalry has been an absolute joy. I half wonder if I should pull in a light cavalry as well. Or hillmen. Alright. Well, I'm back here running after chowderheads. I trust my own chowderheads to do this. I mean, Hannibal's gonna probably not go any further west at the moment anyway, so he can, I think he can retake Jerusalem. I'm gonna go ahead and come down here and ensure that this war gets ended the way that I want it to be ended. Odessa is stabilizing. Uh, Syria is stabilized. Cilicia stabilized. So, some good progress there. Progress. Waiting for population surplus in a lot of these places. We can go ahead and get more textiles. Great, and we've got plenty of food to do so. Our income is looking quite nice because of that trade agreement we opened up with Rhodes. I could... I could stop some of this recruiting and build that other barracks. Get Hannibal better troops. I think we should go ahead and put better troops in his army because we got the cash now. So that's what we're going to do. We'll focus on getting Hannibal some better troops. We'll retake Jerusalem. We'll go help our satrapies. And I mean, we've already made progress. We've pretty much shut down Egypt. Now we just need to come over here and take care of Nabatea, who joined us uh, or joined against us. In fact, Nabatea is a bit of a threat here. Probably shouldn't be over here, but now this is going to take 10 turns for me to get back across here. Whatever. I'm going to march back. I'm just going to have to trust my guys to do that. I'm going to have to go help. Um, yeah, I'm just going to have to go help uh, make sure that we don't lose uh, Syria. I can't lose Syria, and Hannibal's got to refit his troops after those epic battles. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed this episode. It's a fun one so far, so good in the campaign. I mean, the Seleucids are pretty much surrounded by potential enemies and satrapies who will almost certainly be betray us. So we've got a long ways to go, folks, but I'm going to enjoy every last bit of it. Hope you do, too, and I will see you soon.